Hello everybody. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how you can now import Chaos Scan materials directly and easily straight from Chaos Cosmos and into your scenes, which if you'll remember, wasn't quite the workflow before. Before that, however, uh, let's just do a very quick refresher on what Chaos Scans actually are. In essence, Chaos Scans are scan materials of real-world samples. Uh, the scanning process captures the unique properties of the real-world samples, uh, such as, for example, the materials diffuse components and their reflection properties and so on and so forth. And so it essentially translates those real-world materials into special scan materials that you can place in your scenes. Now, we've covered scans in a bit more detail before in our existing tutorials. Uh, so in case you're interested in learning more about them, do feel free to check those out and also check out our documentation on them. Um, it's got quite a bit of additional information uh, that's not currently covered in any of the tutorials. So make sure to check out the documentation as well. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the new improved workflow of how you can get uh, chaos scans into your scenes. So to get access to Chaos Scans as a 3ds Max user, all you have to do now is you need to open up your Cosmos browser, uh, pick the sort of category or subcategory of the materials you're interested in, and in there, just uh, pick a material that you'd like to import, right? Uh, so as you'll be able to see, uh, Chaos Scan materials have this Chaos Scans tag to them. You can see it right here. And you can also filter out just the Chaos Scan material by going under Filters here and selecting the Chaos Scans um, I guess filter type, right? Now, when you're happy with the, well, when you've located the material that you'd like to import into your scene, just hit the download button. Now, the download might take a little bit longer than your typical Cosmos asset, mostly because Chaos Scans can sometimes be a bit larger in size. I mean, they, they are scanned materials after all. But once the material downloads, uh, you can then just select the object that you want to apply the material to, hit the import button, and then just wait a couple of seconds for the material to get imported and applied to uh, the object that you have selected, right? Now, this process, again, might take a moment here uh, just because, well, uh, you know, chaos scans are... Um, they're pretty large materials sometimes, but as you can see, the workflow here is pretty straightforward. Now, if you don't have any object selected in your scene, uh, and if you then import your Chaos Scan material, uh, well, then that scan material is going to get imported directly into your material editor, as you'll see here in just a second. But again, the import process itself uh, might take a moment or two, depending on the size of the Chaos Scan material. But before you know it, as you can see, our scan material is now inside our node editor. If you are a Cinema 4D user, however, well then, <laughs> the same workflow applies to you as well. So we've got our Cosmos browser window open here. Uh, we've, we want to import this particular Chaos Scan material. We've already downloaded it, so we're just going to hit the import button. Just like that, this material is now in our scene. It's, you know, your typical Corona scan material. Now we're just going to apply it to our object here, and there we go. That's pretty much the whole workflow. Now, just to quickly remind you where Chaos Scans also shine is, is it's with materials that are otherwise, through classical means, uh, pretty much impossible to recreate in such detail. So just as an example, uh, here you can see we've used a scanned foil material for the present. And this material adds really tiny metallic components to the mix, along with an interesting response of the material based on the viewing angle. And we've also used a scanned holographic material for the bows, uh, which is a material that is pretty much impossible to create from scratch using conventional means. Now, in this case, we also leveraged some of the additional functionality of Chaos Scans. And so we enabled the two-sided functionality so that the material is applied both on the front-facing faces and also the backwards one. And we also enabled triplanar mapping so we didn't have to bother with creating proper UV maps, right? Right. Now, as a general note, there's no change to the way licensing works for scans at the moment. Um, the only change here is making them easier to find and bring into your scenes. Okay. All right. So um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. That's the new workflow. And we really hope uh, this will make Chaos Scans a lot more accessible. These materials um, can be super handy. And so we'd like to encourage you all to give them a try. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one.